Chat, I just came across a bitch named Hawk Twa bitch. She famous for a clip where they asked her, what do you do to dick? And the bitch said, you gotta go hook Twa. What's one move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, uh, you, you gotta give him that Hawk you know, she ain't really even spit onto the mic. She just made sound effects, right? Kind of like beatboxing on the table. Do -do -do -do. How do you rap a roll? You go like this, you make a beat. And then I blow up and become a rapper. That's basically what the bitch did, y'all. I'm gonna keep it a book. Whenever I first found out about her three, four days ago, hey, I went out my way to go try and see if it was film of the bitch, you know, if it was any past highlights, sports in the top 10 clips of this bitch going crazy. And come to find out, it ain't nothing on the internet of her. You know, and it's like, it don't gotta be, it's cool. If, if that's not her, that's cool, that's respectable. But when we talk about knowing ball and top, top toppers, you know what I'm saying? When we talk about the motherfucking, the Tiana's of the world, the Ashley, Cashley's of the world, that's a motherfucking trophy that you get on putting in the motherfucking time, the effort, the work, the grit, the grind. Oh, this is not a hate video, by the way. Hey, Lee, if you see this, I'm saying we are cooked. Like, there's no reason for me to be making a video over this. It's not... Like, what am I doing right now? We watching a video of a bitch that got famous because she said hook to her. We're beyond cooked as a generation. Niggas, is this motherfucking freaky and horny, huh? You know, way back in the day, they used to, it was hunter-gatherers. At this time of day, with the sun up, I'm supposed to be outside trying to find a lion with a motherfucking bow like this to catch him. Boom! So I could bring food back to my family. And then that's whenever my girl, uh, my wife, is supposed to give me some motherfucking that coochie, that head, that sloppy toppy, that motherfucking poo nanny. That's when I'm supposed to get it because I put some work in. And because that's my wife too, you know what I'm saying? Uh, marriage and shit like that. But because I put that work in, brought the food back, now it's time for me to lay down the wood. But nowadays, man, I ain't going to lie, bro, we so fried, fam. We so fried. We done made this bitch rich because she told him she know how to spit on dick. Man, I can do that too. Nigga, I can hold some. Get drunk. That is fucking like we're doing right now. Y'all get over a breakup right now. The only way to get over one is get under another. Amen. Did she just say what I think she just said? I think y'all like Miss Huck Twa. I ain't gonna care. This is my first time actually watching this. This shit crazy. Hold on. So, so you got a side piece? Maybe. Maybe I got three. Maybe I got seven. How many is on your roster? Seven? I know I'm pausing a lot, chat, but really I'm trying to break this shit down. Like I said, she ain't had no film online. My nigga, we ain't see her drop down on her knees. You know, and she don't gotta do that. You don't gotta do that. Respect yourself if you want to, man. But bro, she got famous for talking about her twelve. Let's be fucking serious. If she got famous for anything else, I wouldn't be talking about this. But she got famous for talking about she know how to hook twelve spit. You know, grip it from the side, two hands, look, 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 all that. So it's like I'm just trying to figure out what what she got in her bag, okay? Okay, y'all understand what I'm saying? I'm with y'all. Y'all trying to figure it out too. That's why she famous. You was probably at home searching it up. Haley Welch. Yeah, and then you know her name too, man. I ain't the only one. Come on, let's keep watching the hold up, hold up, hold up. Tune in, tune in. There's only one I want, but so he's serious. I'm a boy. So how many you got on your roster right now? Hey, boy. Hey, four. How many you got on your roster? None. Trying to add one to it? <laughs> add one? Yeah, you trying to add Are one you? to it? Yeah, that's me. Maybe, I don't know. So I can get your number? Yeah, you can. Okay. You, leave a message to your last leave a message to your last body. I love you, Pookie, forever! <laughs> oh snap! Yeah, this whole time I'm thinking, Huck Twa, I, I thought she was like on the white side. Now that I done watched a minute of this video, I get it! We still cook though, don't I ain't gonna get it. We still cooked as a generation. We had no reason to blow her up, but I think I get it. I get it. She like black me too. This shit crazy. Sometimes you tell about a white girl's mannerism that like, you know what I'm saying? She, man, she fucking with it. I'm saying that she trying to get one of them light skin back. I could tell by her mannerism. They, they must be doing the right thing. What can I say? Okay. Maybe Kong lives off the side. <laughs> Are you hosting this room? What make, this is my wife. What makes me white? What makes her white material? That bad you got? Her real turn around. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking lying. That's you gotta go ahead and give us no. Yeah. Can we have a 360? Give us a 360. It's flat out, girl. <laughs> she ain't got shit back right there. Haley, you still look good though. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Y'all white girls, we know, you know, niggas know what to expect from her. You know, it ain't nothing wrong with this at all. It ain't nothing but pancakes back there. But who the fuck said pancakes was bad? Shit, nigga, I wake up every morning and eat my pancakes. Ain't shit wrong with pancakes. Shout out to you. Shout out to all the little pancakes out there, man. Ain't no such thing as body shaming over here. Except if you a 
You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna leave it at that. You got it. You this. You got it. What's one move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, you gotta give him that hook too and spit on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get you. I think you got to uh, demonstrate. Hawk, dude, spit no on it. Spit on it. <laughs> Would you rather have back shots for the rest of your life or missionary for the rest of your life? You can only choose one. Back shots. Back shots? Why back shots? Because I don't like somebody looking at me in my face, you know? You don't like that eye contact? I don't, I don't like that. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Too. My only complaint with you is the fact that there's no actual film on any of this. You know? <laughs> And I respect that. It's a lot of respect that come this way. And we all respect you for that. But Haley, I hope you run it up. I hope you become a millionaire. And now for the rest of us, chat. Yeah. We got to get better, bro. What the fuck is we doing? Nigga? We got to lock the fuck in. You tell me we done made this bitch famous. I'm sitting at home making a video over this bitch. And all she said was Huck 12. All she did was demonstrate the fact that she could spit on wood. Yeah, it's a cool clip. She got a good personality. Don't get it fucked up. But damn. A 12 girl, Haley Welch, was reportedly paid 30K to appear at the club. 30K. This is our fault. Do you not see how Beyond Cook niggas is, fam? Do you not see this? We got to lock in, bro. We got to be better men. We got to be better men. I heard of something about uh, 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 Alpha Male Boot Camp. That just dropped. Some of you, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not going. Fuck that shit. But some, man, it might be time that we start sending niggas to the alpha male army or some shit like that. Bro, this is beyond me. She got paid 30K to stand in the corner and giggle like this. It's so much more shit that can... Does that deserves coverage than this that we need to blow up. I ain't even talking about like just entertainment shit. It's so much more shit going on in the world that could get if we gave this much coverage too, would be so much more beneficial. Imagine we could get some niggas that actually need 30k, 30k worth of food, some 30k worth of back to school clothes, 30k worth of you see what I'm saying? We gave her 30k. Who looking at her? Haley, even you know this is true. Who the fuck is going to a club? Just because, oh, yeah, Huck 12 girl finna be there tonight. Man, I swear to you, for 30K, if I'm the club promoter, and Shadi, I'm sorry, but I'm just being honest, okay? For 30K, skip now if you watch it on YouTube, I'm finna say some outrageous shit. For 30K, everybody at the door is getting some sloppy toppy. At least a kiss on the tip. At least, at least, at least. For 30! Shady, you better throw that motherfucking neck 30 bands? Nah, this shit gotta be camp. Bruh, chat, they gave her up before they were famous? Come on, bro. What the fuck is Huck Twas sauce or something? What's that? Let me see. Before the most famous interview in recent times, before the memes and merch, before gaining 134,000 followers. You know, all the niggas that end up on before they were famous, they done put in years of perfecting their craft. I think the last before they were famous I watched was Duke Dennis. That nigga was playing 2K for years upon years upon years. Grinding. For years. You know what I'm saying? And I was watching Duke for a minute. I remember watching him whenever he was still living with his mama. A grown man playing 2K hours and hours. But he was getting that grinding. That was the last before they were famous I watched. Now, I, to come back and now I'm watching Huck Twa. She blew up for saying Huck Twa. I ain't hating, but all I'm saying is God damn. Shit, man. Like I said, it all come back to us, y'all. We cooked as a generation. We got to do better. Uh, if, if, if niggas wasn't this horny, she wouldn't have blown up. If niggas wasn't this horny, bad baby wouldn't be a multi-millionaire. I can't blame, you know, you can't, you can't hate the player. You got to hate the motherfucking game, man. What the fuck is the bitch doing in the studio? Like Including Eddie and Tom Scabelli. Welch took a seat for her initial interview with Brianna LaPaglia of the Plan Bree podcast on Barstool Sports. LaPaglia, who is dating country music artist Zach Bryan, spoke with Welch behind she the scenes. She made it on Barstool Sports. I be seeing Brum Brown on that page, right? Ah, uh, nah, see, they just posting bullshit on this. a bullshit ass page. Brand new dating app forces men to submit pictures of hands matching couples using state of art penis. Like, come on, never mind, never mind. I thought she was like, you know what I'm saying? I thought this was one of them podcasts. See, that's why Shaq, like, Shaq really my nigga, though. We gonna end the video off right there. Shaq really my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm Shaq, like I said, the people is the problem, not her. Shit. I ain't mad at her ass, and I ain't mad at my nigga Shaq either. I know, man, that nigga Shaq a crazy motherfucker, bro. <laughs> he a crazy motherfucker. Yo, fam, no cap, y'all. I hate to go after Shaq. You know what? I gotta stop, bro. I gotta end the video right there. What the fuck am I talking about? Yeah. Shaq, we gotta do better. Um... Anyways, bro, if you enjoyed, leave a like on the video.
Haley, if you see this video, my Instagram is down below though. And I'm no, I'm talking to her just in case she see this shit. Y'all never know. See, nigga, y'all always gotta get your shot up, you know. T day by day we gotta do better though, y'all, y'all, y'all boys. Don't log into that hub tonight, man. Come on, bro. If niggas stop being so horny with I promise you we'll get back to men being great again. Right now we we kind of we down bad, bro. We gotta do better as men. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. Y'all have a good evening. Shit, have a good time tomorrow punching in at work and make sure you get up and take your ass to the gym if you're not doing nothing in the morning time. Y'all boys be safe.